What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World. Today, we're going to be talking about field general archetypes and what make them superior and why they're the best choice in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. To kind of give you some insight into it, when EA started to make these type of changes where specific quarterbacks would not be able to get the abilities that other quarterbacks would be able to get until a higher overall, there are always things that separate some players from others prior to this whole uh, imaginary thing that EA has been doing by, you know, giving people Marvel Avenger abilities and making these guys, you know, crazy on the field where they're crazy savages that, you know, they have superpowers. It's pretty much what these abilities are. Now, the thing that really knocks the field general is speed. People don't like the field generals because generally, even like, you know, you had Rich Gannon at the beginning of the year. Uh, right now, I'm going to be use, utilizing Derek Carr and explaining to you some of the things that make Derek Carr a really good choice to use right now. But, you know, the speed aspect is usually what the problem is. All right. Derek Carr right now gets chem to an 81 speed. So I'm going to go over here and show you guys with Sprinter on his card, which is on the right side of his card, the little circle with the ticker. He's going to go ahead and get 81 speed because I maxed out with Sprinter at uh, 40 or 40, right? So I've been going over that, you know, whole situation with you guys, you know, getting the cheap training, utilizing the way that the market is. I've uh, given you several videos explaining that. Some of you guys have been very, very appreciative, appreciative of that because it's helped you and you can see the effects of it on the field. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, Derek Carr may not be, you know, a year end quarterback right now but he's very very suitable for what most of you guys that are watching this video will need to be successful i'm going to tell you why he's going to be that guy that's going to help you be successful it starts with hot rot master okay now other quarterbacks are probably with different archetypes going to be able to get it later way late in the year when they get like those 95 96 maybe 97 overall cards they'll be able to unlock hot rot master it'll cost more because they're not a field general that's something new that they're doing currently with madden 21. so let's go ahead and break this down right why is hot rot master something that will make him more important than michael vick all these lamar jackson all this other stuff why because everybody pretty much either has bought an ebook or has watched a YouTube video and seen like a meta defense that is very, very difficult for most people to be able to, to counter, right? So what happens? You have a quarterback with Hot Route Master. He unlocks all the additional routes for every position, the running back, the tight end, and the wide receiver. Instead of using a wide receiver with outside apprentice, slot apprentice, all that stuff, your quarterback takes care of all of that with one ability. So now you can put that guy on the outside on the post when you have an absolute idiot that keeps coming out in two men under or he's playing cover one and just thinking he's going to lock up the whole entire field. That post route's going to be wide open because you can create a post on the outside. All right. In the slot, you can create a crosser. So automatically we know tight ends with uh, different deep coverages, um, various type of abilities. We can get them wide open now because we can develop that route. That's what makes them game changing. Now, when I had Dan Marino, AKA Dirty Dan, the dude was garbage and he couldn't move anywhere. If you've ever watched SpongeBob, he's similar to Gary the Snail. The dude just could not move. Derek Carr is a game changer in that aspect because he's he, he can run now. I can run for a first down. If you come out and you play cover four drop against me, or you send nobody and think you're gonna sack me, I can run now. In addition to changing all the routes on the field, I can now run for a first down. That is very, very advantageous. We're gonna go over some of his uh, numbers in a second, but that is a very, very huge um, difference between Dan Marino and Derek Carr. He can now run for a first down when I need it. I don't wanna run all the time, but when I do wanna run, I need him to be able to pick up that first down, all right? Now, we go over to Conductor as well, all right? Conductor is something, back in the day, for, for all about you know the Madden aficionados and the guys that played it as long as I've played it, we were so used to coming out and doing a thousand hot routes before we got to the line of scrimmage. EA changed it. They say, you know what? We can make money off of just making them have to get an ability to do that stuff. There came Conductor, all right? So these two abilities to me are some of the most important abilities in the game. Because if you, put it like this, if you have a guy that comes out and they're setting up like a crazy blitz, you can come out, have two hot routes, you know, quick hike them and start going for six. And you can just always know in your mind which two hot routes you need to do in order to hike the ball quickly. That's a game changer, okay? These are things that, this is like higher level Madden to where people say, yo, how did you beat that guy, Jemiah? What's going on? I don't understand. Like, you know, you beat, you beat these guys that are really good players. I used to take Madden seriously. After Madden 16, 
I stopped doing that when a punter OBJ caught me. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to help and share the knowledge for those of you guys that are trying to get better at Madden. Like these things right now, I had to break it down because I've had so many comments. Why am I using Derek Carr? Why do I prefer a field general? Because they're, they make it so much easier to deal with anything that goes on in the game. That That's pretty much the short point of what's going on. So look, he has a very, very pedestrian 91 throw power. I'm going to show you with the attributes, right? He goes to 92 throw power, short accuracy is a 90, mid 86, deep 86, throw under pressure 88. I want to go ahead and point out that throw under pressure, it doesn't really matter unless you have fearless. It will still come out. Uh, let me just show you what I'm talking about. If you have um, fearless, you will be immune to the pressure, so the pass will be accurate no matter what. I just want to go ahead and point that out. The actual attribute does not affect anything else because they'll still throw the ball like idiots unless the ability is active. I just wanted to point that out to everyone so they understand what's going on uh, in regards to that situation. Now, getting back to looking at what's going on with the rest of his numbers, 81 speed, 92 throw power, short, mid, deep, throw under pressure, run, everything like that. Now, I'm going to point out another thing that makes him very, very unique. That throw on the run, it meets the threshold above the 85 to where if you're running outside the pocket, you can throw a hot one like as if you had like, you know, Roman Deadeye or anything because he meets that threshold. Obviously, the 90 and the 95 are the higher tiers, but he accurately throws the ball on the run if you needed to do that. Okay, so these numbers are very decent for what I'm doing right now. And I can still, like I said, I have the advantage of now moving outside the pocket instead of sitting there like a sitting duck waiting to be sacked, okay? So when you go and compare this to other quarterbacks, if you just wanna run around, you know, right now it's pretty big, the QB draw. A lot of people are having issues dealing with the QB draw. I myself am not having any issues with it. I figured out how to stop it. So you have people come out, they hike the ball and run to either side with Lamar Jackson. But that's the advantage of those type of quarterbacks and the scrambler and Michael Vick. They're supposed to run. Defensively, you have to figure out a way to deal with that. But what I'm trying to explain to you guys is you're gonna have a lot of success if you have a quarterback that can change everything on the line of scrimmage and you come out and you see the defense and now you can do whatever you want. That is a very, very important um, you know, ability to have and be able to utilize because now you understand, okay, this is what it is. I can now make sure that these things that need to be done can be done the proper way because I have the quarterback that can do that. So we are going to actually be able to understand and be able to move forward with a lot of these things and go forward with Derek Carr until we get something else. Because if we, we're not able to understand uh, specifically, you know, what when they're going to release another field general that has speed and anything like that, we still at this point will be able to win games, number one, and change the whole entire landscape of the way that these guys are able to come out with standard defenses and just dominate you. All of you guys come and share your stories with me, whether it's on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all at Gmiles World, and here on YouTube. You let me know, oh, yo, Gmiles, I played a guy, he was a demon. He came out in cover four, I couldn't do anything. Well, guess what? Now you could create route concepts with Hot Route Master. You could create a drag with a post over the top. He has to decide, who am I covering? If he, if he does, if he keeps giving you the drag, you put a running back in that position to run the drag and you start going for six. If he's, if he's covering the drag, you go over the top. You have an in route on the other side. You can do whatever you want in the slot. You create a stop and go. These are the abilities that is going to be game changing for you as a Madden player. But it won't be just because, okay, you know, Jemaya said to do it. It's because I'm giving you the information. Now you can try it out. Now you can see for yourselves. Does this work? Is this something that's going to make me successful? If you get a little bit out of what I just explained and you're able to implement that on the field, you are automatically gonna be a better player because now you understand why I utilize the field general, okay? You now can see, all right, look, I have much more success running outside the pocket like an absolute idiot, throwing the ball across the field, just doing whatever I want. If that's your scheme, that's your scheme. My scheme, I'm more of a pocket, you know, a pocket player. You know, I want to throw a dot from the pocket. That's what I want to do. And we have to go with what our strength, you know, the strength is. That And your strength, if your strength is running around, running read option, doing whatever you want, QB draw, that's fine. But understand that these field generals, they, these players are glitchy. 
later on when everybody can get these abilities it won't matter because i would get michael vick if he could get conductor and hot rock master too because he got the speed but as of right now i need these abilities to make sure my opponent can never just sit in a solid defense and just relax he has to always expect a post he has to always expect the stop and go he has to always expect a corner he has to expect these things because of the archetype of my quarterback and that's where the true success comes in hopefully this has been informative to you and answered the questions that you had about the field general archetype if you enjoyed this video and you want more content like this please feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button i want to thank you guys and girls for taking the time out of your schedule to join me in watching this video until next time one love y'all